you guys watched the last vlog. It's a Wednesday afternoon. I just got back from Sim Lab. I'm about to start waxing and then I also should study a little bit for the quizzes that we have tomorrow but if I don't get to studying it's not a big deal because I don't really have anything scheduled until 1 p.m. tomorrow because the other half of our school is going to be in sim lab my group went today so I don't do anything tomorrow so I'm going to watch some lectures ahead of time and then also prepare for those quizzes but tonight I'm going to spend waxing which you guys will get to see all of that I'll set up my tripod try to show and explain things. So we have this candle melter. This is before. <laughs> we'll see how long it takes to melt. I've got a couple of videos pulled up. I'm gonna have our one from our canvas that our professor uploaded, an older one posted by our dental school, and then one that classmates and other friends on Instagram have recommended. So I'm gonna watch all three waxing videos, and then I just have a couple fun videos to watch once I know what I'm doing just for background noise. So I'm gonna watch these while the wax continues to melt. So the wax is almost melted. I have this flame because we don't get Bunsen burners, but hopefully this will help heating up instruments. So we're doing tooth number eight. It's that one that I removed, which I just have here as a reference. But yeah, you basically pull this little pin out and then put in the like kind of crown prepped one and then you're gonna build it up build up the anatomy with the wax. And the reason we do this is to learn dental anatomy. It's not like an actual dentistry skill. It just kind of develops your hand skills and helps you learn the anatomy better. Maybe one, love and two, and now it's three. Three a.m. Thinking what if it's you and me. At the end, maybe we'll be okay. I know that you're coming back home. started it when I moved in so there's a big like a three month gap but better than nothing so I'm gonna fill that out and watch Netflix for another hour and then I've been plugging my phone in over there that way I can't play with it so I go to bed faster and then I also don't really look at it when I wake up guys in the morning. ready to go. Uh, I didn't want to forget my mask and I was also taking some of your selfies. Follow me on Instagram for all the good content. But um, I finished the karyology lectures. There was like three hours worth so that was a lot but I finished them. Had some breakfast you guys saw and then I just got dressed. You guys just saw the picture from Instagram but such a cute sweatshirt. I'm very much obsessed. It's so soft and I feel like this is such like a fall little color palette we have going. I'm about to go to the Arb, which is the Nichols Arboretum, if you're not like from here, if you wanna Google it. Really, really nice park, basically, but it's like gigantic, like 
miles and miles and miles, many different places you can go. So I'm gonna drive over there because I don't live too close and go for a little walk. It's 9.18 right now, so I'll probably be at the ARB around 9.30, 9.35, and I wanna be back here by 10.30. That way I can do a little bit of studying before my 1 p.m. quiz for cell bio, and then we have a 3.30 p.m. quiz for oral facial function. And then tonight, I'm very excited because I'm going to yoga in the park with the AAWD, American Association of Women Dentists, and I think a couple D1s that I know are going. And then I actually know some of the people that are in it already that are the years ahead just from meetings over the summer. And then also, one girl is super nice, and I met her at Mission of Mercy. We went to MSU together. So I'm excited. And then I think I'm going to grab dinner after at Detroit Street Filling Station, which is like an outside grab and go sit outside kind of deal with some of those people so I'm excited for a nice little socializing social distancing evening but yeah that's pretty much the agenda and then tomorrow a couple classes then I'm also going in to get feedback for my wax up that you guys saw yesterday and then Saturday I have the Dental Students for Sustainability Farmer's Market trip, so that'll be fun. There's a Farmer's Market in Ann Arbor every Wednesday and Saturday. I don't know if during COVID they do it on Wednesdays too, but still definitely every Saturday, so it'll be my, my first time going. And then I have a birthday dinner for my roommate from college, Leonie, so I'm going to drive to Detroit for that. Another outdoor safe thing, no worries. And then, yeah, that's pretty much everything. I think Lauren... My other roommate from MSU is going to come to explore Ann Arbor a little bit on Friday, so it'll be good to see her. That's pretty much the agenda, though. The week is nearing a close. I'm just trying to get as much done as I can so that I don't feel anxious or anything because I definitely have realized I've had a really hard time, like, unplugging from school. Not, I guess, really hard, but a little harder than I'd like sometimes, like this morning. When I wanted to, like, go make breakfast, I didn't feel like I could, like, stop my lecture, so, like, I brought my laptop with me when, like... I should be able to just like take those 10 minutes, prepare my breakfast, like, I don't know, I just have, sometimes have trouble slowing down once I get going, but I guess there's worse problems, it's better to be going than not doing your school at all, so that was my little rant, but I will take some clips on my phone at the ARB, and also probably throughout the afternoon up until yoga time, which is at 6 tonight. I haven't gone to this class yet, but sometimes I check them off to make myself feel better. <laughs> but I almost finished lecture six. I woke up at like 7.30, so I've been working on that. And then we have this 10 a.m. Zoom. And then after that, I'm either going to start the infection immunity lecture or another cell bio lecture. Then I have to go into the dental school at four to get feedback on this wax up. So I just kind of used some tips from my roommate, actually. This camera doesn't like to focus really close ends. Yeah, I adjusted the cingulum a little bit more just to try to like smooth things out a little. So, I don't know. And then again on the front, I just do not understand how to get the little grooves. So I'm just leaving it totally flat. 
hopefully today when I go in they can help me figure out how to do that because there's supposed to be a groove like here and here. So I'm just going to go in and see if they can help me. But what I did was I used this DK Thomas number four and I just kind of on this like flatter golf kind of club end and just kind of like shaved down it on like all the sides and that really helped smooth it out and make it shiny. So I think it looks a little bit more comparable to my peers, but it's still probably one of the worst ones I've seen, but I think going in to get feedback today will definitely help. Hey guys, last time I vlogged was this morning and it's already like 3.15. I'm gonna leave at 3.20. Amanda and I are gonna walk over to the dental school because we're getting feedback at four on our wax ups like I told you guys. Cell bio lecture, infection and immunity lecture. I feel like that's it, but it felt like so much. But yeah, that's everything I did today. And Lauren's gonna be here around six and we're gonna walk around in Arbor so I can show her some stuff here, walk around campus and stuff. And then we might go somewhere outside to get a drink this evening with some of my classmates and Amanda or something. And then yeah, I will proceed on with the weekend like I told you guys about. But I think this is going to be the end of this video. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you in the next one. Oh, 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 oh,